Alright guys, welcome to another boss kill with your boy JFlip. Uh, right now we're going to check out this guy called Rakanoff. He's shortly after Iskatu, and unfortunately for us he's a lot more difficult. This fight is another type of gear check where you need to have good gear or else this boss will just one shot you. Now, that move he just did there where he basically just teleported in and hit me, that move is going to kill you unless you have a lot of resist, health, and force armor. You need to run that. Now here's the thing, if you don't have the gear this boss is still doable, what you need to do is you need to take the uh, the familiar glyph called uh, Ancient Guardian, I think, and it gives you a, a damage absorb when you're below 35% health. If you were going to get killed when you're below 35% health, you will, it'll block an attack every 6 seconds. So if you uh, if you run that and you don't have life regen and you have low HP, you can still beat this fight with uh, like not enough gear to survive his hits. But uh, that would probably be kind of a pain in the ass. I wanted to try it, but I have too much life regen on my gear, so I couldn't do it. If you have life regen, it won't work. So this guy, he mainly just teleports in. That's the only attack you have to worry about. Other than that, he shoots out these like blade things. Just get away from him for those. And then the other thing that is kind of a pain is the fact that he summons those little tongue dudes. Uh, so just try to have some arcane power. I use orbs. I use arcane power and I try to blow these up with orbs right as soon as they show up. And uh, yeah, just keep... Uh, if you ever leave the screen and you don't know where this dude is, throw on uh, crystal skin because he's probably going to pop in and ambush your shit. Other than that, just keep uh, keep staying at full HP. You never want to have low HP because he, uh, he will probably kick your ass. But if you run force armor and have decent stats, um, he will only hit you for 30% max like he's doing to me. So it's not too bad. And uh, just keep your health pots up. Uh, I run teleport just to keep them away. When I do it against these adds here, they kind of don't know whether to go for me or those clones. That's helpful. Uh, obviously Hydra for the damage, a seeking missile just to poke the boss down. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Just hopefully uh, he doesn't kill you with his uh, his ambush move. And then you should have him. Alright guys, the Rakanov fight is all about surviving his damage. So you want to be as tough as possible. Uh, for main skills, I'm going to take Seeker Missile and tap the Source Orb. I want the orb to just burst down the, uh, the tongue adds. Fracture Teleport is good for me for getting away from Rakanov as well as distracting the adds and making them go for clones. Uh, Venom Hydra just for damage as usual. Just leave that on Rakanoth. He doesn't move around that much. Crystal Shell to block as much damage as possible. Without Force Armor, he will hit you for way too much. And my passes are mostly for surviving. I'm going to reduce cooldowns. Um, have Illusionist so I can just teleport away. And Blur so I take 20% less damage. The key to beating this fight is simply being able to survive his, his uh, teleporting attack. If you can survive his teleporting attack, it shouldn't be a problem. And um, even if you can't, I've heard of people that can kill it by using the uh, arcane, let me show you it real quick. Familiar with Ancient Guardian. When you're below 35% life, the familiar will absorb one attack every six seconds. As long as you don't get killed by the adds, um, you can actually use this to kill them, as long as you don't have life regen also. Alright guys, thanks for checking the video out. JFlip signing out. Peace.